Well, here we are in the cafe shop, Mechesh, and the result of Helen Grove White kindly giving me the space to show some, guess what? More or less abstract paintings. And this is a, a first for me in this area because the interest in abstract painting is uh, not very large. So it's a wonderful opportunity to show the more experimental works, things that don't appeal to everybody, but then giving me the opportunity to explore my real interest and be a bit more playful perhaps with what I'm doing, both compositionally and subject matter. But they're all mainly based on nature as inspiration, one way or another, and also drama. They all have a lot of drama and movement, which I can highlight with gesture, taking a cue from the abstract expressionists. And I love the ambiguity in their work, the spatial uh, variation that you get from the kind of things that they produce. So you're never quite sure how to read the work. So here we go. This is probably the most realistic one from near where we live. Wilver Head. Throw in Wilver and Kamrai. So that's a, quite a, a majestic scene with a lone tree on his own trying to fend off the elements. Using more subdued tones with this one was a real joy. Grey, grey works so well in highlighting the stronger colours. This is one of the few, or perhaps the only one actually, in acrylic in the show. Very, very basic, and yet the power and energy so simply resulted from just three colours and how much they can mix without over-mixing them to the point of destroying what's already there. This is the largest one, so probably about six by four feet, and was the end result of a show from Oriel Morn, so this was done straight afterwards, so I was still on a roll with completely abstract work and probably one of the most ambitious I'd uh, made up to that point. So going from very large to the smallest and it's quite good you can get the same kind of power whatever the size painting. Inspiration from the Auerbach tradition coming through Bomberg and our local hero Peter Pendergast. So a stormy scene from Llambadrig looking across uh, the rocks there with his cave and the spring. And here we have Monad Bodavon looking redder than usual, but with those dying ferns in autumn, you really do get a tremendous amount of colour in the, in the rock. And then of course at sunset, dramatic skies looking across to Hollyhead. So that's the show here at Llanbechas, and if you're able to uh, come this way, hopefully you'll really enjoy the show. So goodbye from all of us here, and see you soon. Bye for now.